Although it's quite true that there are fanatics representing ideas on both sides of the argument of global warming, or climate change, as it's been dumbed down, but there is an argument that's undeniable, irrefutable, and 100% inescapably real and true, no matter what your position on global warming is. This video presents some very simple facts that nearly anyone can grasp. It's a worst-case scenario, given the option of doing absolutely nothing at all about global warming, or doing something about global warming and being very proactive. What should be done about climate change? Let's take a look at the options, costs, and possible results. Here are the only two options. Option A, do nothing at all. Or option B, do something. Now let's look at the costs. Do nothing at all, option A, costs zero dollars. The cost to do something, option B, equals billions of dollars. Now let's look at the possible results of first A, doing nothing at all. There can only be two results. Let's look at them both. Possible result one, no effect and no cost. Possible result number two, no cost and complete world economic collapse, vast starvation, catastrophic flooding, and total world crisis. Now let's look at the possible results for option B, doing something. Number one, cost billions creating global economic disaster. Or possible result number two, costs billions and averts complete global disaster. To recap, plan A, we do nothing at all and hope we're right. Of course, with the results being either one, nothing at all, or two, complete global catastrophe. Or plan B, we do something, with the results being either one, a major economic collapse, or two, avoid world crisis that would destroy world economies, cause catastrophic flooding, and wipe out entire countries. These are quite extreme examples, yet the intensity and obvious contrast reflects the inherent reality and the hazards of doing absolutely nothing at all about global warming. January 20th, 2009. Human-induced global warming is real. According to a recent U.S. survey based on the opinions of 3,146 scientists. However, there remains divisions between climatologists and scientists from other areas of Earth sciences as to the extent of human responsibility. However, the results of the investigation conducted at the end of 2008 reveal that the vast majority of Earth scientists surveyed agree that in the past 200 plus years, mean global temperatures have been rising and that human activity is a significant contributing factor in changing mean global temperatures. Two questions were key. Have mean global temperatures risen compared to pre-1800s levels? And has human activity been a significant factor in changing mean global temperatures? About 90% of the scientists agreed with the first question, and 82% the second. The strongest consensus on the causes of global warming came from climatologists, who are active in climate research with 97% agreeing humans play a role. So the next time you take your car to 10 mechanics and nine of them tell you to replace the brakes because you'll probably crash pretty soon, don't do that. Listen to the one who opposed them, the genius on the periphery, the kook, 
the loony, the crackpot, who says your breaks are okay.